another part of my let's play skyrim series and yeah guys last episode we finished off the uh, dragon slayer slash alduin main quest line and now let's go and uh, collect uh, some depths from um, from brynjolf and the uh, thieves guild so oh shit prov what's going on what do you want uh how did you meet Kariv Karava? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Blackmarsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. Okay, I could find out. I was out, hoping bro. you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. Okay, uh, uh, you might want to talk some sense into Karava. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Then help me convince her to pay. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. Sure, bro. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Okay, let's talk to Karava. Here for a room or something to drink? Show me some coin first. Uh, are you ready to pay Brynjolf what you owe? No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. Maybe I should visit that farm in Morrowind. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Then pay up, bitch. Very well. Here. Take this back to Brynjolf, and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. All this trouble for 100 gold, bro. That's fucking nothing. Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever, 100 gold. Jesus. Anyways. And this guy. Percy Honeyhand. So, can I interest you in anything today? Uh, your shop has a most unusual name. Catchy, isn't it? In my youth, I was a fisherman. I had a beautiful ship named the Brawny Prawn. But the years have a way of creeping up on you. I ended up selling that ship to open this place. Well, changed it a bit, I suppose. If I had been smarter, I would have kept my boat. Coming to this city was a big mistake. Was it? Well, about the mistakes, bro. I have a message from Bern Brynjolf. What? Oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? Simple. You don't... Pay, bad things happen. Petty threats and fist waving are not going to sway me. You people are all talk, and everyone knows it. You demand payment for protection, and you can't even protect yourselves. We can't protect ourselves, trust me. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. Okay, bro. Until next time. Uh, maybe I... Oh, not that one. Bro, maybe keep I shall... Keep giving and giving, Bercy, and they'll keep taking and taking. When is it gonna end? What would you have me do, woman? Cross the guild? Take them all on, one by one? You know I don't mean that. We need to find a way out of this. Perhaps talk to Layla. Layla is as clueless as she's stupid. No. If anything's to be done about this, 
We have to deal with it ourselves. Okay, bro. <laughs> Be careful. There's no need to do that. Yeah, bro. Oh Pay up. Word. Pay up, bro. I can't pay. I can't. Yep, yeah, bro. Pay. Just pay them, Bercy. Pay, bro. Yeah. It, pay. There's no need to do that. Oh my no. word. No. That urn was priceless. Yeah, bro. That's what's happened when you don't like uh, pay up, bro. I can't believe you did that. You people are monsters. No, we're you just businessmen, bro. And you can't even protect yourselves. Take your coin and tell Brynjolf to leave us alone. Sure, bro. 100 gold. Okay. It's you. Please, don't hurt me. Oh. I know who you are. You've been terrorizing the entire city. Please, there's no need for that here. Message understood. Here, I even have the payment. Thank you, bro. That's most kind. You know, she understands. Okay, return to Brynjolf. Then uh, we shall do that. We shall return to the master of the thieves' skills, or like the leader. I am waiting for your sources, but a last shipment of scuba was some of the best quality I've seen in years. Ah, just got lucky is all. Bumped into someone who knew someone else. The rest just writes itself. Well, if you like, I'll be happy to take over the operation for you. Take the sauce off your hands. And lose out just when the going is getting good? No thanks. Okay, bring so, you off. Job's Hello? done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping uh, bodies and keeping the guards quiet can clean, be expensive. Bro. Job's done, boss. Gave the package to her just like you said. Good. Did she say anything? Well we done. Know? And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find it. these quite she useful. A lot of trouble. That she did. Weak Very good. stamina potion, no, no filter Brignol. of health, and filter of true shot. Thank you, bro. What's next? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers. I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. Uh, if there's more gold where that came from, I'm in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Look at this guy. He's just staring at me and shit. Uh, before we go, I have to ask... What's on your mind? Or does your outfit isn't doing well true we've run into a rough patch lately but it's nothing to be concerned about tell you what you keep making us coin and i'll worry about everything else fair enough yeah that's fair now if there are no more questions how about following me and i'll show you what we're all about okay bro staring at me and shit uh so you're brynjolf's new protege eh? don't look like much to me Anything you need done? Now that you mention it, there is. I have a buyer with, uh, shall we say, a very odd taste in literature. Looking for some particular books. What kind of books? I'm told they're the ravings of a madman. A wizard named Arundel, And his peculiar cravings. It's said to be spread across four volumes and very hard to come by. My client is offering quite a reward for them, which I'd uh, split with you. I'll get them for you. Then we have a deal. In his later years, Arundel moved into some ice caves known as Ingvild. He preferred the solitude in which to perform his um, experiments. Ah. Um. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's uh, go then, bring you us, You better not make trouble. Okay, bro. Ooh. Let secret. me show you the operation. Then you can ask your questions. Secret uh, cabinet, bro. Nice. Oh, well, what? What's this place? Okay, 
Yeah, chat. Oh, deal. <laughs> One thing for sure, you don't steal from thieves, bro. They like know the mindset. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Bring you off. Who is that? can search these ones though. That's pretty good. I'm not stealing. Wow, really good stuff as well. Take a bread. Okay. Ah, this one too. A lot of arrows. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brignolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. We do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Sure, uh, bro. Uh, yes, I understand. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So, let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Thank you, Welcome bro. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin, so don't disappoint me. I shall not. Uh, so what do I get? So how do I get my cut of the spoil? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin Mallory and Bex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh. And talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Okay. Uh, tell me about the Golden Glow job. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. What's the catch? The catch? is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Um, what's so important about these clients? The guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. What should I do about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. Okay, bro. Um, I need more details about the job. Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. And out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. So we send in Vex, and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Mercenaries, not Riften guards. Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Shit. Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. Okay. Uh, how do I destroy the beehives? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather. But their one weakness is flame. Besides, 
Nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. Why not? L yes. We know you why, because that, then, Those uh, don't the, then the client won't be very happy. Okay, uh, hello Vex, um, he just need to ask, the bro, you into chill, the of things without telling let's you just sit down up. to make it more Am like right? casual. Before we, before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, okay. it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. Okay, bro. What sort of business? I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Any idea why? Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. So what can we do? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Um, is this unusual gem worth anything? Been a while since I've seen one of those. What you've got there is a so stone of Baron Zaya. Why all the time, bro? Uh, is it worth anything? Not like that it isn't. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his tracks. How many of these are there? I think there were 24 in all. Bro. Most people keep them as a curiosity. Jesus. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Well, until now. Huh. You sure you won't buy it? Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit. And no one wants these stones unless they have the whole set. Tell you what, if you find the rest of them, talk to me again. Otherwise, keep it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. Okay, I gotta be honest with you guys. I played like Skyrim, you know, when it first got out like four or five years ago. I've never found all of them, so... I might not even, like, find them all this time either, so, but... Anyways, uh, I heard you ran into trouble at Gl Golden Glow. <laughs> yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. He's a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Any tips to get me in there? Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. Okay. Um, does the guild provide other services? If you're ever in need of some quick coin for items you find on the job, Tanelia is the best fence around. And besides myself, Delvin, Niruin, and Vipper can help you with any sort of training you might need to sharpen your skills. Okay, where's These jobs Tornelia? aren't gonna finish themselves, you know. Where's Tonelia then? No. Need a few spare septums? There she Got is. The cure right here. So you're the new recruit, huh? Yep. Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. Why is that? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Uh, is there anything you don't charge for? Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Bro. Look, I've been in this chill. business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. But the Dirge is the one that would be in the cistern, bro. I'm the Dragonborn. I'm the master of the College of Winterhold. I'm the slayer of Alduin. Bro, you understand? Good, then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Okay, armor. All right then. Um, Divine smile. Why don't you think I that am an apprentice wizard, not a pack mule. Oh, okay, bro. Well, make it quick. 
<laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. Jesus. Let's get going then. Okay. Uh, All eyes are on you, Black. Don't just cake it. That way? Really? Okay. Okay, bros, let's go. Yeah, 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 we did, we did, nice. Hey, horsey. Horsey. How you doing, lad? Oh. All these waters. Okay, let's just chill, uh, or horse you can chill on this little island. You can do this. There you go. Okay, let's. Like we're in the clear, okay. I think the bow is gonna be a decent one in in this one. Is that a guy? No. Okay, let's just swim here a half minute. Looks like we're in the clear. Nice. Okay, let's go through the like sewers. Huh? Yeah, bro. What's up? Uh huh. Oh shit. Bro, using a dwarven arrow on the bitch. No, thank you. Let's use a uh, ancient sword arrow. Come on, bro. What's up? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Huh? Jesus, lad. You fried them, bro. Nice job. Nice job, okay. Luckily we weren't in there, so. Yeah. Okay, nothing. Was that a chest? No. Okay, skiver. Okay, okay. Ah. Not, oh, a death? Ah, perfect, perfect. Okay, we found a chest. Another lock, really? Maybe it's the other side. Yeah. Okay, there we, there you go. Gold. Mm, not really good, but you never know. You never know. Okay, another one. There he. Is. I mi I bloody missed, bro. And here you go. He's good with those spells, man. He's very good with those. Okay, looks like we have found a place here. Open Skyrim. Oh shit. Ah, oh, nice. It's just here, so. Expert, bro. Uh, uh, are you dumb? <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Jesus, this is gonna be hard AF. <laughs> Am I even going to be able to do this? Is the question. <laughs> yep. Ah, 
Ah, okay, okay, we, we were close. I think it was around here. Please. Oh, the, oh, bro, that was so close. Okay, bros. We're at the home stretch. Oh my god, really? This is so fuck. There you go. And that signals the end of the episode. When we get back in the next one, we will. We will definitely be continuing this quest line and we will hopefully be done with this. And yeah guys, until then I'll see you guys in the very next video.